The transition to clean energy has the potential to grow our economy and create millions of jobs. But only if we accelerate that transition. Only if we seize the moment. This past week, President Obama used the Gulf oil catastrophe to spotlight twin themes, the urgency of moving to cleaner energies and shrinking U.S. dependence on oil no matter where it comes from. One approach the president has favored is energy efficiency, and with buildings among the biggest energy hogs, they are prime candidates for efficiency savings. We take a look at green building and go inside one that's won top-level recognition for energy efficiency. When friends ask me where I work, and I say I'm at the New Tower on 6th Avenue and 42nd Street, one Bryant Park, they say, isn't that the one? They may not know LEED Platinum per se, but isn't that the one with all the environmental aspects? They Bank of America's Jeff Barker is talking about the company's new headquarters at Bryant Park in Manhattan. It was recently designated among the greenest of green buildings. Clean Skies News got a tour of this 55-story green giant from the bottom up. What we do down here is heat and cool the building. Jordan Barrowitz of the Durst Organization, architects of the tower, showed us these 12 to 1,500 ton chillers that cool the building remotely by computer, saving energy with air conditioning a top energy user. We can isolate air conditioning by floor, um, by multiple floors. Uh, there were uh, readers all over the building that are uh, constantly sending back information um, and evaluating the temperature on the tenant floor so that can be adjusted. They all sort of run at different levels. They run at different levels. We're running, it's a hot day, we're running the biggest floor. And during cooler nights, tanks like this one go to work. So at night it makes ice, and then in the morning instead of running a chiller plant, we can just burn this ice off with running a pump over it. That can cool the building for several hours in the morning. And this tower makes its own power. Barowitz says a 4.6 megawatt natural gas plant on site makes energy sense. There's no energy loss in the transmission of the electricity. And second, and more importantly, is we capture the waste heat from the combustion of the natural gas and we put it to use in the building. A building that now gets about 70% of its power off the grid. These features are just some of the reasons One Bryant Park was the first commercial high-rise to achieve LEED Platinum certification by the U.S. Green Building Council. Platinum is the cream of the crop among the council's certified gold, silver, and platinum levels. They recognize homes and buildings as designed to achieve energy savings, water efficiency, carbon emissions reductions, better air quality, and more. Platinum is just about as far as you can go in buildings today. Scott Horst is vice president at the U.S. Green Business Council, which developed the LEED system. And the more of these things you do, the, the, the higher you get certified. That has more companies seeing the need to go LEED. Consultant Nico Kienzel at a sustainability conference in New York said building owners have little choice but to pursue LEED. It's almost a requirement now um, in terms of market expectations. If they don't do a LEED project in New York City, they don't really have a marketable product. The vision Air in Battery Park City is known as the first LEED Platinum set of condos in New York City. The residents here have floor-to-ceiling windows and they control the window shades automatically. And we think the residents here take green living very seriously. We found an all-electric Tesla parked right out front. More building owners find the cost of certification worth it. Of the $2 billion total cost of the Bank of America building, the owners shelled out an estimated 40 to $60 million to go lead platinum. We will find this building to be a tremendous investment for the Bank of America. As do owners of other green buildings, including the Platinum Lead Verdesian in downtown Manhattan and the Duke Energy Building in Charlotte, which also requires tenants to pursue LEED certification. The benefits go beyond energy bills. Barrowitz says a cleaner environment leads to more productive workers, and that's a selling point to companies. So if you tell them that the and their employees are going to be more productive, there's going to be fewer sick days, they're going to be happier, and their productivity will increase by four or five percentage points. That's something that gives you a competitive advantage in the market. But while LEED is highly regarded, with more than 35,000 buildings now registered, not all agree it's the best way to go. It has come under fire for the cost of business in energy modeling, commissioning, and more. Some complain about the complexity of complying. Others say a LEED rating is too easy to get and question the environmental benefit.
Not so at Bank of America, where other bells and whistles include elevators that know workers' destinations before they get in, floor-to-ceiling windows that maximize natural light, electronic shades that minimize glare, ceramic dots baked into windows deflect the sun's heat, meters track CO2 in the air here, which is 95 percent clear of particulate matter. And no worker is far from one of these. So all the, all the building has these registers. Adjustable registers in the floors, more efficient than ceiling vents, let employees control their own airflow. So the women come out and they make it warmer. Mm, exactly. The women make it warmer and the, and the men make it cooler. It's bright and it's beautiful and uh, I love it. Employee Linda Kaplan enjoys the vent, the view, and the big picture too. If we don't take care of our planet, it's not going to be around and it'll affect future generations. So whatever we can do now is is wonderful. While a return on investment is a growing motivation for buildings to go green, many hope the bottom line for companies goes beyond the bottom line. Building a building like this really is just the right thing to do, and that's where the uh, social responsibility comes in. And the experts we talked to say the next big trend in building efficiency is the carbon neutral or zero carbon building, although they see that as prohibitively expensive for the foreseeable future.